Mega Evolutions. Whether you love them, hate them, or absolutely despise them, few would deny that they've changed the landscape of Pokemon pretty drastically. With crazy Pokemon like Mega Kangaskhan, Mega Charizard, and the all-amazing Mega Mawile, Game Freak has done quite a bit to power up some Pokemon that badly needed some help in the stat and the ability departments. And then you've got Pokemon like Mega Rayquaza, which let's be honest, Rayquaza did not need a Mega Evolution, but got one nonetheless. Anyways, the point is that Mega Evolutions are an incredibly important part of Pokemon these days, and with Pokemon Z on the horizon, Game Freak is sure to introduce a few more to us. So in honor of that, today I'm here to count down the top 5 Pokemon that I think deserve Mega Evolutions in the upcoming Pokemon game. Number 5, Luxray. If you ask me, Luxray is the epitome of missed potential. I mean, this thing has a phenomenal base 120 physical attack, a surprisingly decent 95 special attack, and also some great abilities in Intimidate and Guts, but overall, it just really isn't that good. Why you ask? Well, one of the biggest problems is that Luxray's speed is incredibly underwhelming for an electric type Pokemon. It's only base 70 and I definitely think it deserves a way higher speed stat than that. Also, I've always thought that Luxray should have been an electric dark type since it learns a ton of dark type moves and for god's sake its design is just absolutely screaming dark type. If Luxray got a mega evolution, then I feel like it would gain a slight edge in speed and typing that it needs to become a very solid Pokemon and for that reason it's number 5 on my list of Pokemon that deserve mega evolutions. Number 4, Tauros. Everybody knows that Tauros is a fan favorite Pokemon, and if you ask me, that alone should be more than enough reason to give this thing a Mega Evolution. But the thing is, Tauros not only deserves a Mega from a popularity point of view, but also from a stat point of view. For one, if this thing got a type change to normal fighting like Low Punny and got access to close combat and other amazing fighting type moves, then it would be insanely good. Also, Tauros has a pretty good base speed stat in 110, but unfortunately his physical attack is a little bit underwhelming at only base 100, and if you ask me, it's just shy of enough to be a top tier threat. Finally, it'd be interesting to see Tauros possibly get a boost to its special attack, since it actually learns a ton of great special moves like Fire Blast and Thunderbolt, but it really can't take advantage of them with a base 40 attack stat. Overall, Tauros is another Pokemon that just barely missed out on being a top tier Pokemon, and for that reason, it's number 4 on my list. Number 3, Arcanine. I'll be honest and say, I'm not really sure if Arcanine needs a Mega Evolution from a stat point of view, but I still think that it deserves one. Taking a look at its stats, I definitely wouldn't say it's on the level of Pokemon like Aegislash or Mega Salamence or Bisharp or other Pokemon. With a few buffs to its attack, special attack, and speed, it could definitely be on their level. Or Game Freak could take things in a more interesting direction and buff its defenses since Arcanine is actually an incredibly bulky Pokemon. But more than that, Arcanine is also a fan favorite Pokemon, and just the sheer prospect of designs for Mega Arcanine are making my head go absolutely crazy right now. Imagine seeing Arcanine's mane being replaced by a mane of fire as with Moltres, or getting three heads like a Cerberus. Okay, actually, strike that Cerberus idea, because that would probably look incredibly stupid. But even still, Mega Arcanine could be one of the most amazing Mega Evolution designs yet if done right, and for that reason, it's number 3 on my list of Pokemon that deserve Mega Evolutions in Pokemon Z. Number 2, Raichu. Those of you who know me probably saw this coming from a mile away, since I am a massive Raichu fan. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Pikachu as much as the next guy, but my buddy Raichu has been sorely overlooked in the history of Pokemon. This thing has got some pretty good offensive stats and base 90 physical attack and base 90 special attack, as well as a very good base 110 speed, but it's still just barely missing that edge it needs to be a top tier threat. However, a Mega Evolution would change all of that instantly. If this thing does end up getting a Mega, what I would personally like to see is a buff to both of its attacking stats and also a massive buff to speed. I would love nothing more than for Mega Raichu to be a fast and sleek Pokemon with speed that burns everything else in the game. It would also be really interesting to see a type change for Raichu. I would personally be really stoked if Game Freak made an Electric Fairy since Dedenne was a huge disappointment if you ask me. So for all those reasons, Raichu absolutely deserves a Mega Evolution in the next Pokemon game. Number 1, Flygon. As with Raichu, I'm sure you guys probably saw this one coming. I've said it a hundred times, and I'll say it a hundred times more, I love Garchomp to death, but why in the hell did Garchomp get a Mega Evolution while Flygon didn't? I would argue that Garchomp's Mega Evolution really isn't that much better than the original Pokemon, and I feel like it didn't really even need a Mega Evolution in the first place, but Flygon on the other hand is completely outclassed by Garchomp, regular Garchomp at that, and now Zygarde as well, so it of all Pokemon definitely does need a buff. I mean, with awesome stat moves like Earthquake and Outrage, it's got a ton of potential, but its stats are just a bit underwhelming for it to be a top tier threat. Base 100 attack and speed are unfortunately mediocre at best with the way things currently are in Pokemon. If Game Freak could buff this thing's attack and speed, then I have no doubt it would immediately become an insanely good Pokemon. Also, I feel like the Dragon Ground type is a little bit overdone after the introduction of Zygarde and Garchomp, so I'd really love to see it become a Dragon Bug type since we haven't actually seen that typing on any Pokemon yet. 
So for all of those reasons, Flygon is number one on my list of Pokemon that deserve Mega Evolutions. Well, alright folks, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Pokemon content in the future. The common question of the day is what are your guys' top 5 Pokemon that you think deserve Mega Evolutions in Pokemon Z? Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.